Hello friends, in this follow unfollow system, we have add one more notification feature, so if user has post any new post, then that user who has follow that user post, they will receive notification, regarding new post. When someone has comment, on any other user post, then that post user will receive comment notification. Same way if particular user post has been repost by other user, then that post user will receive notification like your post has been reposted by other user. After this, if any user has like any post, then that post user will receive notification like, your post has been liked by particular user. Lastly, if any user follow other user post, then that user will receive notification like, your post has been followed by particular user. And same way if user unfollow any user post, then that user will also receive notification like, your post has been unfollowed by particular user. So, this notification feature we have add under this, follow unfollow system by using PHP. For this feature, here we have add one more table like, notification table, with table column like notification ID, notification received ID, notification text, and read notification. We will store notification data under this table. Now we have start discussing this feature, now we have moved to write code, first we want to generate notification, when user has post any new post. For this we have to go action.php, where share post code has been write. So, here we can see share post code, now here first we want to get, user who has follow login user post, for this, we have write dollar notification query variable is equal to, select received id from follow table, where sender id is equal to, dollar session user id variable, this query will return user id, who has follow this login user post. Below this query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar notification query. This statement will make query for execution, so for execute query, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query, execution, here we have write dollar notification result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. For fetch data from query execution, here we have write, for each loop with condition like, dollar notification result variable as dollar notification row variable. Under this loop, we have write, dollar notification text variable is equal to, get username function, with two argument like, dollar connect variable and dollar session user id variable with text message like has share new post
This get username method will return login username. We have to make this function. So here we have write get username function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar user ID variable. Under this function, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select username from Twitter user table, where user ID is equal to dollar user ID variable. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable this statement will make query for execution so for execute query here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute query after query execution here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method this method will return query execution result for fetch data from query execution here we have write for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write return statement with dollar row username variable it will return username which is an output of this function now we have go to share postcode and here we have write dollar insert query variable is equal to insert into notification table with table column like notification receiver id notification text red notification with values like dollar notification row receiver id variable dollar notification text variable and no this is insert query for insert notification data into table below this insert query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar insert query variable this statement will make query for execution so for execute query here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute query and insert data into notification table now we want to display notification for this we have go to menu.php file and here we have write list tag with class is equal to drop down under this we have write anchor tag with class is equal to drop down toggle data toggle is equal to drop down ref attribute is equal to hashtag ID is equal to view notification and in anchor text we have write notification it will add notification in menu list first we want to display total number of unread notification so here we have write dollar total notification variable is equal to count notification function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar session user id variable this function will return total unread notification for this we have go to database connection.php file and here we have write count notification function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar receiver id variable under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select count function with notification id as total from notification table 
where notification receiver ID is equal to dollar receiver ID variable and red notification is equal to no, this query will return total number of unread notification. Below this query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. This statement will make query for execution, so for execute query, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query, execution, here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. For fetch data from query execution, here we have write, for each loop with condition like, dollar $result variable as dollar $row variable. Under this loop, we have write, return statement with dollar $row total variable, it will return total number of unread notification. Now we have go to menu.php file. And here we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar total notification variable value, is greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, echo statement with span tag, with class is equal to, label and label danger class, id attribute is equal to total notification, and here we have write dollar total notification variable. It will display total number of unread notification, now here we have write an order list tag, with class is equal to, drop down menu. Under this, we have write echo statement, with load notification function, with two argument like dollar connect variable, and dollar session user id variable, this function, will return notification list. Now we have go to database connection.php file, and here we have make load notification function, with two argument like dollar connect variable, and dollar receiver id variable. Under this function, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from notification table, where notification receiver id is equal to, dollar receiver id variable, order by notification ID in descending order. Below this query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. This statement will make query for execution, so for execute query, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query, execution, here we have write, dollar notification result variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. Now we have write, dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method it will return number of rows affected after query execution below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar total row variable value is greater than zero 
if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, for fetch data from query execution, here we have write, for each loop with condition like, dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write, dollar output variable, and in this variable, we have append HTML code like, open and close list tag, and between this we have write, anchor tag, with ref is equal to hash tag, and in anchor text, we have write dollar row notification text variable. So all notification will be stored under this dollar output variable. Now here we have write return statement with dollar output variable, which is an output of this function. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. For check share post notification, here we have login as Jacob Martin username and enter password and press enter. After login as Jacob Martin username, now we have share one post, so here paste this video link, and click on press enter button, so here we can see this video has been share in the system. Now we have log out from Jacob Martin account, and login again as Peter Parker account. After login into Peter Parker account, here we can see notification tab has been appear in menu, and here we can see one unread notification. Now we have click on notification menu, then here we can see notification like, Jacob Martin has share new post, which we can share here, so here our post share notification working properly, in next part, we will discuss how to generate other event notification, and how to unread notification. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.